Hey all, it's me, Celestial, and today I'm going to be talking about why I hate kids. I'm going to be ranting about why kids are very annoying, why kids are like gross and everything in between. But before that, let me show you my nails because I painted my nails and they're like, um, it's like a purplish um, with white and like with butterflies. Like, oh my God, I, I don't know how to show you all. Um, I'm just going to like insert a picture later. I hope I don't forget. Like, yeah. I've always wanted to like paint my nails and like put like designs in them but like I never I don't have the artistic capability to like <laughs> hand paint them okay going to the main point of the video um so what inspired me to like make this video are all the get ready with me tiktokers who like share their experiences in like sephora kids 10 year old kids in sephora basically oh I thought he would fall and let me tell you, oof, they, these kids, they caught my blood boiling. Like, like even though it wasn't my experience, oof, girl, they got me so mad. And like, I, I hate kids, honestly. Um, okay, so the first, like, <gasps> um, okay, as I was saying, the first story time was like, there was this girl. Let's call her Abby. Um, so Abby, she, she just wanted to go to Sephora to like check out products and stuff i think that's the reason why she was there um and like basically she saw this kid with her friend with like a sh like a basket full of like products like rare beauty drunk elephant sol de janeiro there was even a burberry her like the biggest burberry her like in her basket and let me remind you this kid was like nine or ten years old and like girl i'm not judging but like at 10 years old at, i don't want to be like one of those people but like at 10 years old i was literally just playing with my my little ponies like what i was i was making my little pony videos on youtube and I, okay like it was it's very shocking so i forgot the reason why the the little girls were like attacking this poor old girl like they were harassing abby I, I forgot the reason why, but oh my god, that is so close. But yeah, they were harassing Abby. And um Okay, so fast forward a bit. So when they were in line now to like pay, the little girl was like on her phone calling her mom and she was like Mom, where are you? We need you already. Like we're about to pay. Like hurry up. Like in the most spoiled way spoiled tone ever like uh, first of all if i talk to my mom like that first of all she wouldn't show up second of all i i i would not have a mother if i talk to her like that like she would disown me she would like put me up for adoption she would give me up like uh, who why would you talk to your mom like that and uh, like after a few minutes the mom she showed up y'all Oh my god i was sweating sorry um so the mom showed up and the mom was surprised of like the the basket full of like expensive stuff like okay abby said that um th the products you saw were was like over like a thousand dollars worth like and uh, that that's like s too much money like I, oh my god i would back then i would have a hard time asking my mom for like ten dollars like what that mom was like shocked and said that do you think i made out of money or something and and the girl was like yeah isn't that what mom stands for made of money and like <laughs> that was loki smart like my mom dead ass would just leave me then right then and there if i ever talked to her like that and the mom then said to like pick three stuff out of the basket and girl that's that's like good enough like honestly like i wouldn't complain but this girl this oh my god this girl this girl had the audacity she was to like start a t tantrum oh my god that is so mean and she was like no i want them all and this poor mom she she was like on the verge of tears she was like begging her little 10 year old to just like pick something out of the bag and like yeah 
Oh. GG's. Okay, there are like a bunch of sweats here and eggs, I think. So I don't know if I'm doing this. Anyway, so the mom was like on the verge of tears and like she gave in. She was like, okay, fine. And she paid for every single thing. Like, wh what? Why would you? Why would you do that? How is your child going to be disciplined? Like, uh, that that is way too much money to spend on a child. I was just like really like my jaw dropped to the floor. So the next story was a girl who like, um, she ran out of like the drunk elephant moisturizer. She went to Sephora to like get a new one. And like she, she saw like a bunch of 10 year old girls like in Sephora and like they were like making a mess of of everything they were like making like smoothies out of the drunk elephant things they were taking products out of their packages like not even the test products the the like products that you buy in box oh my god that was so lucky this poor girl she she saw one left like one drunk elephant moisturizer left and she she had it there right then and there in her hands <gasps> he said three she had it there in her hands and the girl saw and was like no i wanted that or something like that and she the girls the little girl screamed and like every single staff every single person in the fucking sephora they all went there because like the girl caused the scene like her screaming caused the scene and the mom and the mom of the girl she was like please just like like give her the product it's like yeah and first of all what why why would you like why would you like ask someone that when they clearly need it more than your 10 year old daughter it just surprised me honestly how like these moms okay i'm not blaming them but like loki I, I am because like parents are supposed to discipline their child and like not like support the way they act oh my gosh that was so close but the girl oh she she didn't take it well she didn't take it well because like the the girl who told the story time she she didn't give the product to the girl so she, the girl and her friends started following okay that's called the story time girl um elise okay they were following elise around and like like elbowing her like like hitting her stomach with the elbows like uh, on purpose too like she was already in line and like at least knew what was gonna happen because the kid was like right beside her so like as the kid was gonna elbow her at least fucking push the kid like okay i don't like support violence against kids but, like that was so well deserved like i don't care the kid was just acting up like and the, and the parent was doing nothing about it, like... Yeah. So, I would do the same thing that she did. And the kid started bawling her eyes out, like... She, she was, like, bawling her eyes out. And was, like... And everyone went near them again, because the kid caused scenes, surprise, surprise. And, like, everyone was asking, what happened? And, like... And then the kid was, like she pushed me and of course at least being the girl boss she is um she was like i didn't she's making stuff up and like nobody fucking believed the kid like yeah so they just left at least alone and at least like paid for the drunk elephant moisturizer and she fucking ate that up so that's her that's the reason why i i hate kids i'm never gonna have kids like kids are just genuinely annoying yeah they're just genuinely annoying so yeah <laughs> ggs okay thank you so much for watching if you're still here comment down um butterflies in the comments and yeah um if you enjoy like these types of videos like me like telling story times from like tiktok just let me know because like, i enjoy them too also thank you so much for 800 subs okay bye